<clears throat> hey everybody, it's Jenna here today, and in today's video, we, well, part two, we will be making the wings, and maybe working on the head, I doubt it though, because the wings might take us the whole video. Alright, so here's the completed dragon, this is my prototype, which yours is going to look pretty much exactly the same, and we, if you're at this part of the video, you should have had made both back legs. All four back spikes, both front legs, both horns, and both fangs. So we're going to be making the wings, like I just said, and bear with me because these wings are not the easiest. So we're going to start by putting our loom in the rectangular configuration. And we are going to take a purple and a yellow band at a time. This whole time we're using two bands, and it's one purple and one yellow band. Alright, so down this row... Of the loom, we are going down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. All right, now down the middle column, we are going to go down 10 times as well. So one, two, three, four, five, all right, five, six, Seven, eight, or almost eight. Hang on, let me fix this. Nine and ten. All right, now this row we're going to go down nine times. So, one, why is this crooked? <coughs> Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, so we have gone down nine times, and what the heck? All right, and we're going to do this annoying double looped bands now so we're going to double loop a yellow band and we're going to stretch it across all three pegs and we're double looping yellow bands all the way down so there's three one two three here's four five six seven and eight times. So we should have gone on eight times with double looped horizontals, yellows. And now we're going to take a double looped yellow band. All right, and we're going to place it on this peg. Wait, no, no, no. we're gonna place it here. And then we're gonna take another one and place it from this peg, stretching to that peg. It's very strange, so we skipped that one. All right, now we are going to take purple and yellow bands, and we have to make some annoying spikes. So we're gonna take a single purple band, wrapping it around our hook, creating four loops. Then we're gonna take a yellow and a purple, and pull that cap band on. And then another yellow and purple, and pull that on. There's the tip spike. And we are going to place that, hang on. I need to make sure I'm doing this right. All right, yeah. We're gonna place that here, right on this peg. All right, now we're going to take another purple band, wrap it around our hook, creating four loops, and then take a purple and yellow, pull that capping band on, and we are going to place it right here. So we're gonna place it, darn it, all right. Right here. So we skipped a peg, and that is one length smaller. 
we have to make one, two, three more of these little spikes. They're the ones with a four, a purple band wrapped four times around our hook, then a purple and a yellow band. And we're going to place that here. We're skipping a peg again. So we skipped a peg there and we skipped a peg there. Then we're going to take another purple band, wrap it around our hook, creating four loops. Take a purple and a yellow, pull that on, skipping a peg again and placing it there. Then we need one more spike. Purple wrapped around creating four loops, purple and a yellow, and then we're going to skip a peg and put it, oopsies, skip a peg and put it here, like that. So we have a small spike there, small spike there, small spike there, small spike there, and then the longer spike there. <coughs> All right. Now we have to loop, and as we're looping, we're going to attach on some annoying um, stripes. So you're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black bands. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight black bands. Ready? We don't need these anymore. All right, let's loop. What we're going to do is, first off, start by... All right, start by grabbing these two bands that are right here and we're just gonna loop them forward. We're gonna ignore the horizontal band and loop them forward. And then we're going to loop behind these horizontal bands. We're gonna grab these two bands, loop them forward. These two bands, loop them forward. We're gonna loop, we're gonna push back this spike and this horizontal band to grab the bottom two and pull them forward. And I know my stuff just came off of my peg. It's not very nice. No, Ugh, get back on the peg. All right, and we're gonna loop up once more. We're making sure we're pushing back the spikes and the horizontal bands every time. Now we're gonna take a single black band, stretch it across these pegs like that. So we're literally just up to the three pegs we just looped up to, putting a black band on. Then we're going to loop up once, making sure to push back the spikes and horizontal bands. Taking one more black band, putting it there. Looping up once on every peg. Oopsies. My band just broke, so just hang tight for a second while I fix my broken band. Shouldn't take too long. Broken band. Just ignore me. Ignore me. Alright. Fixed my broken band. And then we're going to take a single black band, stretch it across those three pegs we just looped up to. Loop up once more on every peg. Taking a single black, stretching across those. Loop up once more on each peg. Take your black band, place it on. Oh my gosh, how many bands are gonna break on me today? This is why it can get hard, you need to be careful, especially if you have some crappy bands mixed in. Cause I have like good brand bands for the most part, it's just that once in a while there's these crappy bands mixed in from other brands that I had gotten a long time ago. Um, so let me just fix this, and then I never ended up using those bands, and they got mixed into my good bands. So, alright, we're going to place another black horizontal band on, loop up, place another horizontal band on, black single band, loop up on each peg, don't worry if it falls off, get back on, well do worry, but... Stop it. You're not ready to come off yet. And then we're going to place one more black horizontal band. Loop up once. Then we're going to take three random color bands. I'm just going to use orange because I have orange sitting next to me. And we're going to tie off these three pegs. And you need to rewind to this video and make a second wing. But you need to make it symmetrical or the stripes 
are going to be on the wrong side of the wing and the wing is going to be bending the wrong different the wrong direction and the spikes are going to be on the wrong side. So if you don't know how to do symmetry, then put your video in front of a mirror and watch the video in the mirror and it'll come out symmetrical. So here, we're going to pull it off the loom and we still have to fix it because it's still going to come out a little funky. So don't rewind the video yet and make a second one. You need to watch what I'm about to do. So, we pull it out off the loom and it's bending like this, but the stripes are on the wrong side. So what we're going to have to do is take the stripe, stretch it to the other side of the wing. We're just stretching them around the wing so that they go to the other side of the wing. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting all the bands on the other side of the wing so that when it bends, it bends like this and the stripes are on the outside. So they're supposed to look kind of messy and messed up because they're cute and they're supposed to look that way. Yeah, but make sure you've got your stripes on the right side and now you can rewind the video and make a second one and look at, at it in the mirror. So like if you just take, say you're watching this on a smartphone right now, and you just take your smartphone, put it in front of a big mirror, and then watch the video through the mirror. And make it, it'll come out symmetrical. So you'll have a wing bending like this and a wing bending like this. See how they're opposite directions? So when we attach it to the dragon, instead of having a wing like this and a wing like this, you'll have them like this. So it looks cute. All right, go to the third video, and we will be making the head and neck. But, <laughs> so yeah, so rewind the video, make your second wing, and you should make sure you have both back legs done, both front legs, both horns, both fangs, four back spikes. Rewind the video, make the second wing, and go to the third video. See you all there. Bye.